Uh, for those who may hear a statement, like you said earlier, that the, the AI is going to take over our industry, what solutions or advice would you give to those who may be a little bit terrified that are in our community? Oh, you got to get out. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, it's no different than people who were in the magazine industry and in the newspaper industry and then digital came along. Of course, you're always going to have that, like the stragglers that are going to make it. But, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, the most powerful moguls in our country were media moguls the people who owned sure. the distribution channels and owned the newspapers. Those were the most powerful people in the city. Now media companies are owned by billionaires as toys, you know? So, mm. and they didn't get yeah. rich from the media company. They got rich from technology. Mm. So yeah, I think you can decide to play the game or the game is going to just keep going and then you're going to be, you know, stuck. So I really think it's important that our community understands what's at stake with AI. I mean, you guys talk about this all the time. So I know everybody watching this gets it. The question is like, what actions do you take to get up to speed? Yeah. You know? So what, what industries, I have a two part question. What industries do you think is going to be eradicated by AI? I mean, you guys see all these uh, graphics, all these illustrations. It's over. It's over. It's, over. it's, over. <laughs> it's, been, it's really been over. I mean, that took them what? Four months. Yeah, that's the fact. Graphic um, design, graphic video design. editing, gone. Um, I mean, even distribution. I mean, probably even for this show, there was a time when you guys might have had two, three people responsible for getting the piece of content here and then scraping it, putting it over here, and putting it over here. All that stuff's about to be automated. You know, so even project managers, coordinators, project coordinators, executive assistants, all those kind of like repetitive administrative functions gone and the second part of my my question is okay what industries do you see as like this is to get into like could we talk about mm -hmm. cybersecurity? that's something that's big right that's only going to get bigger like what where, where's the opportunities yeah it's thinkers it's people who can do critical thinking and you know i think there was a time when we would pay a lot of money for critical thinkers right like you're a ceo a cro you're the, at the top of the food chain you're paid a lot of money because you have all this expertise and all this domain expertise and all this knowledge so you're supposed to be paid the highest that actually with ai goes down because now ai has all this historical knowledge the same way that somebody who was you know the leader of a company for 5 10 15 years so knowledge becomes a commodity in a different mm -hmm. way which means that everybody should have access to be a strategic and critical thinker so what happens when you start to get the everyday person able to process huge amounts of information and make really smart decisions when before they didn't even have access to that information i think more people become solopreneurs and more people are trading and bartering i think that um more people will be self-employed for sure. Even things like fractional CFOs or fractional, you know, roles, those things, like all those people who used to be employed to be a legal, in-house legal, in-house legal. Or CMOs. Or CMOs. You don't need yeah, they're CMO. in trouble. <laughs> Gone. Okay. You need somebody who knows how to work the specific AI product or tool that has that domain expertise built into it to ask that person effective questions and have that AI agent ask effective questions and then give that information back to you. Morgan, I appreciate your brutal honesty. And I, <laughs> I love the candor. <laughs> you're I love it. She's I, I love it. I'm not I'm not. You, you fit it right in with this audience, right? Like it's over. Like we're not playing no games with these people. I want, as you're saying it, I'm wondering as AI is developing over the, and really coming to the forefront over the last two to three years, yeah. How has it changed your business, right? Because awesome. you're in media, yeah. right? Like, it feels like you're com like saying these things off the head, like, yo, I did that, I did that. It, it, how much of an impact has that on you? Oh, so much. I mean, we talk about it every day. My employees are probably sick of me because we run a training every Thursday, an AI training that anybody at the company can join where we go through the tools. I get reports every week on who's using that. AI at the company, how much, who's our highest users. Um, I'm on it. So... You know, to me, I'm like, whether you stay at Blabity forever or you don't, it's my responsibility to, especially as a company that employs mostly black and brown people, like it's my responsibility to make sure you have the tools to decide to participate or not. Um, I'll give you an example. You know, we used to have probably 100 plus writers. You know, we own five brands. 
across different industries, travel, travel noir, shadow and act entertainment, Afrotech, which is, you know, 10x size of traffic than black enterprise in terms of business news and education. So we had a lot of experts and it would take people, you know, a week to write five, 10 articles. People are not able to get to five, 10 articles in a day because mm -hmm. we built an AI tool built on our thousands of libraries of archives with the voice of our brands. Each library has its own voice. And we built a tool on top of that using ChatGPT's API to then allow you to input your information, input all the research you did, put it into the system, and then it pops out an article that's already SEO optimized, keyword optimized, and everything. Mm -hmm. And the output is like 40% better than if a human wrote it without it being AI supplemented and faster. Yeah. Yeah. And it's our well, voice. I think that's important. Yeah. Um, in your business, what, what are like the top three or top five AI tools or LLMs that you're using in your business? So we are, we're a Google suite company. So we use Gemini. I think on a day to day, you know, I'm trying to get my team to get more advanced with their prompting. You know, they're using a very basic level. So right now, you know, they use it in their email where it'll make suggestions for your emails. Um, they'll use it for summaries of meetings. We use Google Hangouts. So Jim and I can be in there to, for notes. I mean, I used to have an EA that just sat in meetings to do notes. We don't need that's that good. role. It's gone. <laughs> right? <laughs> like that's gone. Um, so note taking for everybody. You know, what's interesting is that it's actually really helping with truth. You know, there's no he said, she said anymore. Mm -hmm. Like what happened in that meeting? No, he said, you can't say Susie said this and Devon said this because it was written in every meeting. Right. So the accountability level is also much higher. Uh, we use ChatGPT, the, the enterprise version, because we have a lot of you know private information. So everybody has access to that. Um, and then we use Salesforce. So, you know, Salesforce owns Slack. Slack is our digital yeah. headquarters. So all of our Salesforce and Slack is integrated. And then we use Asana, which has really good AI um, tools on top. And then Canva. I mean, Canva just changed the game with their drop last week. Amazing. So I'm very excited about that. 